one. What about the planetary geology of Venus? Venus is super cool. <coughs> Venus is very hard to study uh, because it's got such a thick atmosphere. It's very hard to see the surface uh, in optical wavelengths because of the chemistry of the atmosphere. So we have done a lot, you know, back, I think, back in the 80s and 90s, early 90s, there were some uh, missions that studied Venus. We think that, um, so Venus is about the same size as the Earth, uh, and it's got a lot of, from the, looking at the, basically the, the shapes of the surface, we know that there's, there's been a lot of volcanic activity. Basically, the whole surface of Venus is very young. The very, we're, we're seeing a very young surface. There's not a lot of impact craters. Um, we, have, uh, we have several missions going to Venus that are in the planning stages. Um, one of them is a JPL mission called Veritas, and it's going to... There's, there's been some evidence as people are looking at at some of the older Venus data, there's some thought that maybe there's active volcanoes there. And so this mission um, is going to, to map the surface um, in higher detail than before and use that combined with some, some gravity measurements and things to try and look for, to, to, um, to see if there's any volcanoes there. Unfortunately, uh, because of the way, you know, NASA gets their budget, from the uh -huh. government, and then they divide it up into like here's going to human space flight, here's going to ast astronomy and astrophysics, and here's planetary, and then planetary says okay, we've got the entire solar system, and the entire solar system's super cool, very interesting. So now we have to figure out how we're distributing the money amongst the missions that are currently going places and the ones that are in development. So uh, Veritas unfortunately like they've they've had to they've, they've sort of been they're being pushed back a bit they were um they were going to launch i don't remember what date they were going to launch but now it's they're kind of like okay we got to put you on hold for a little while while we spend money on these other missions including um one of the big things with perseverance is collecting these samples to bring back to the earth and so we need to fund all the missions hmm. to go get the rocks and bring them back yeah. to Earth. And that's a huge undertaking. Perseverance is on Mars again, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Is there <laughs> any water or uh, storms on Mars? Well, we there's, there's water as solid ice today. Um, we think from studying the, the rocks and the chemistry of the rocks on Mars that about three and a half billion years ago, there were lakes and rivers and maybe even an ocean on Mars. Um, so we, we, we think like long ago, there was a lot, there was water. Um, there's, there's a chance that there was ancient life on Mars, which is what Perseverance, that rover, is, going, is, is there to study. Um, but today, the atmosphere is really thin, so you don't have storm you don't have rain you don't have storms the way that you might think of them but we do have dust storms so we just get a, a, a lot of dust in the atmosphere and every so often it actually covers it goes around the entire planet you um from the orbit you can't see the surface there's just so much dust in the atmosphere wow. and that's how uh that's actually how we lost opportunity rover um, it was solar powered, and there was so much dust in the atmosphere that it couldn't see the sun, and uh, and it it didn't it ran out of power. It ran out of uh, power to keep the heaters running, and it died. Hmm. So, so now it's just floating in space. It's it's sitting on. It was a rover, so it's just sitting on the surface. What out. surface? Mars. Mars. Yeah. Mars? Surface Mars. Yeah, we have several. Uh, pre like there's 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 several rovers and landers that don't work anymore, that are sitting on Mars. There's, How many rovers did you send to Mars? We sent, so we sent um, Pathfinder, uh, we sent Spirit and Opportunity, and then Curiosity, and now Perseverance. And right now, Curiosity and Perseverance are both still working. 
But I thought uh, you send uh, rovers to Mars to collect samples. So Perseverance is the this um, is the most recent rover, and so it's studying an area that we think used to have a lake and used to have a river going into a lake, and so it had. So we have been collecting samples as we've been exploring this been area. Testing it yeah. So yeah. So we're 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 collecting data with like cameras and uh, and different. They're called spectrometers. They're instruments that look in in different wavelengths, different parts of the different kinds of light to study the what the rocks are made out of. And um, and then when we find some really interesting rocks, then we drill them. And we, 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 we put a little little piece of rock in a sample tube, and we um, after we've collected some, we place a bunch of tubes on the ground, and so that another mission comes to pick them up and bring them back to Earth. Because when you're so what we're thinking ancient Martian life would have been bacteria, it would have been like algae or pond scum kind of stuff. It would not be, you know, anything that had bones. So we need to look for really subtle clues and like patterns in the chemistry of the rocks and the you know mi microscopic shapes in the rocks to really wow. figure out if there was life and that's the kind we need we need a big laboratory to do that. We can't take the laboratory to Mars. So what we're trying to do instead is take Mars to the laboratory. Do the rovers have cameras? They have a lot of cameras. Uh -huh. Like a kit like there's like TVs and NASA and they can see what the robots is. Kit it's is. not like movies. It's it's we take a bunch of pictures and then send them home at the end of the day. Kind How of. How do they get back to Earth? So the the rover has a radio dish that it talks to. There's an orbiter that's flying overhead, and it talks to the the orbiter. Who then they they save they save it in memory and then they send the data to Earth and we have giant radio dishes um, in uh, Canberra Australia and Madrid Spain and then in the Mojave Desert in in California hmm. that all spacecraft all out in the solar system uh, use to talk to to send their data back to Earth. So and it's like boosters, the, like boost themselves yeah. to Earth or. Yeah, it's like, a, well, I mean, I don't know if you ever now turn on a radio in the car, like, let's say your streaming service isn't working, you can't get Spotify on your phone, and so you're like, okay, fine, we'll turn on the radio. That's the same, like, so that's picking up the information to turn into music from a, a transponder somewhere that's radiating out the radio. And so that's essentially what we're doing, except that instead of it being like a little a little dish sitting on top of a building somewhere, it's actually a, a robot out in space. Cool. So we need really big dishes to hear it, and uh, and that's so that's what what we call it the deep space network. For a final question, what would you say to the younger generation that wants to get into the science fact? Field. Um, I it's it's really fun. I think a lot of times. I think a lot of times culturally, we think that uh, things like art and literature is just <clears throat> fundamentally different from science and math and engineering. And the thing is, is that they both require creativity. And so there's actually a lot of back and forth between them. Um, because it doesn't matter how good your idea is or how good your problem solving skills are if you can't explain your your answer to others and so um, you know the I think I think that knowing that it, it is this creative undertaking um, and uh, that sometimes the the best thing to do if there's if if an opportunity comes your way to uh, to do something, to learn something, and you think, oh, that that seems really hard. Like it sounds cool, but it seems really hard. Uh, to just just try it. We all make mistakes. We all sometimes learning. Sometimes making mistakes is your best way to learn something new. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful.